Hi learners, welcome to my YouTube channel. So today we are going to do the new topic that is the comparing quantities. So in this one, now let us see the introduction what all things we are going to do. We are not going to cover all the things in one video. But here this will be the topics covered. So percent means you know you have already done percentage in your previous classes. So means percent what, what do you mean the percent means it, you are going to divide it by that is per 100. So then again you are going to see the ratio. Ratio means you are going to compare the quantities. Then you are going to find out the increase or decrease percentage. Then calculating CP or SP. CP means the cost price and the selling price for a given profit percentage or loss percentage. Then for the discounts and goods and services tax, which is also called as the goods and services tax is also called as the GST. Then the simple interest, compound interest and so on. So now let us go directly with the innings and wherever necessary I'll give you the explanation. Now here they said an auditorium has 4,200 seats and in a particular concert, 1400 seats were vacant. What percentage of the seats were occupied? So now they have given total number of seats in an auditorium that is 4200. So we have to write these things, given things first. Then 1400 seats were vacant, things. vacant seats is equal to 1400. So from this two, what we can see, occupied seats will be from the total we have to subtract the vacant seats. So that is going to be 2800 will be the occupied seats. But they, here they have asked for the percentage of the seats which are occupied. So percentage of occupied seats will be occupied seats divided by total seats into 100. So occupied seats is 2800 and the total seats is 4200 into 100. So that is the percentage. So here 2800 divided by 4200 into 100. So these two zeros get cut. So 14 twos are and 14 threes are into 100. So this is going to be, this is in the numerator. So that will be 200 by 3. When you divide this one 200 by 3, approximate you get that is 66.67. That is percentage. So this is the answer. Now here they said a pot of gray paint contains black paint and white paint in white paint in the ratio of 3 is to 7 or 17 sorry so what percentage of paint is black so now total parts now this is given as 3 is to 17 so total parts will be 3 plus 17 that is going to be 20 so now let us see first the percentage of black paint so now see your black paint and white paint so this will be the black one and this is going to be the white one. so these three parts of the black one so always we are going to divide it by the total so 3 divided by 20 and the percentage means you are going to multiply by 100 so 21s are 25s are so this will be 15 so that will be 15 percent that is the percentage of black paint so that is what they have asked now how much white paint will be required to make 3.5 liters of gray paint so white paint here as I said here, this is the white one. So 17 out of 20, but to make 3.5 liters of gray paint. So into 3.5. So this goes with 5 fours are and 5 0.7s are. So now when you multiply this into this, that is going to be 11.9 divided by 4. Or you can also multiply this together and divide it by 20 as you wish. But then this I'll show you the simple way. If it, you are going to do it this way, how to get this 11.9, uh, sorry, 11.9 divided by 14, how to do it? Because we are not going to use the KLC over here. So 11.9 can be written as 119 divided by 10 because there is a, after one number is a decimal means you are going to divide it by 10. Hope this part is clear to you. And this is divided by the denominator is 4 means it can write you 4 by 1. So this is the numerator and this is the denominator. So this we can write here the numerator let us keep as it is and the denominator we are going to flip over that is going to be 1 by 4. So what is that going to be now? 119 divided by 
40. So now let us do here 119 divided by 40. So what will be that? 42 za, that is going to be 80. So this is going to be 3. So now this is not divisible. So we are going to put a point over here and put here 0. So it will be 4, 49 za, that will be 360. So now again, this is, you are, you are, we are going to put one zero. So 47 za is going to be 280. And here what will you do? Again, you, you put here 0. And here 45 is a 200. So now you can see the remainder is 0. So 2.975 liters. So now they said how much black paint is required to make 10.4 liters of gray paint. So black paint, that is 3. And that we are going to divide it by the total. So 3 by 20. And that is given 10.4 liters. So now we are also we can do one thing, we can multiply this into this, that is going to be 31.2 divided by 20. So now see, I have done this one. So you can have a look at it. As I told you, this is the number, decimal is after. So always you have to go from right to left. So there is one, after one is a decimal. So you will write here 312 divided by, because after one is a decimal, you will put here 10. If it is 3.12 means, what will you do? 312 because after two numbers is a decimal, you are going to divide it by 100 and so on. So here there is after 1, so you are going to divide it by 10. And this we can write as 20 by 1. So this is the numerator and this is the denominator. So numerator as it is, so this is as it is. This is going to get flip over, so that will be 1 by 20. So this will be what? 312 divided by 200. So 312 divided by 200. So it will be 200 ones are 200. So again, what will you do now? We'll put one zero because that is not divisible. So it will be 200 fives are, that will be 1000. And now, again, what we can do, we can put one zero. So 200 sigza that is going to be 1200. So 1.56 liters. Now here Mr. Mera spends 30% of his monthly income on food, 10% on charity, saves 25% and is left with rupees 15,750. So here they have asked what is his monthly salary, also find his monthly savings. So now let us consider because we want a monthly salary, like we can say Mr. Mera's monthly, total monthly income be, that is X. So now we will write the given things, money spent on food, that is 30%. Money given to charity, that is 10%. And then savings, that is 25%. And the balance, left means the balance is 15,750. So now let us write here, so remaining income will be how? How much from 100? This all is gone. So that is 30%, 10%, and this 25. So 30 plus this one. So this will be how much? It's going to be 65. So 100% minus 65%, that is going to be 35%. So now here what you can do here, 35% of X, that is what is that? They said it is left with 15,750. So we can write this statement. 35% of X means, of this X means this is total. That is 15,750. So 35%, so wherever you see this percentage sign, means you are going to divide it by 100. So 35 divided by 100, off means multiplication, into x is this one, 15,750. So x will be 15,750. This will go here. So that is going to, in the numerator. And this will change the expression, means it is going to go in the denominator. So now 35 ones are, and you can multiply, divide and see here. 15, 750 divided by 35, you can divide and see. So we get 450. So here, 450 into 200, so that is going to be 45,000. So X is 45,000. So we can say his monthly salary, we are considered as X, which is 45,000 rupees. So now, what did they say? What is his monthly salary we got? Then we have to find out his monthly saving. So now what we can do here, monthly saving will be 25% this is given because he is saving 25%. So 25% of what? That is the monthly salary. 
So what we can write here, 25% means as I said, wherever you see the percentage sign means you are going to divide it by 100. And the monthly salary we got here is 45,000. So you'd write here 45,000. So these two zeros get cut and this you are going to multiply. So after multiplying to 25 into 450, you get 11,250. So this is the monthly savings. So it is 11,250 is the monthly savings. Here in the next one, an alloy of tin and copper. It consists of 15 parts of tin and 105 parts of copper. So you have to find the percentage of tin and copper in the alloy. So first thing what you have to do, total parts means for how it will be, this 15 parts of tin plus 105 parts of copper. So we have to write here, total parts is parts of tin plus parts of copper, we can write. So that will be 15 plus 105, this is given. So that is going to be 120. So that is the total parts. Now what did they say? We, we have to find out the percentage of tin and copper. So first, let us take first the percentage of tin. So whenever you want to find out the percentage of tin, that is going to be parts of tin divided by total parts. Always this total will be in the denominator. And since it's, it is percentage, you're going to multiply by 100. So parts of tin is how much? Given here, that is 15. So 15 divided by total, how much will you get? 120 into 100. So this and this gets cancelled. 2 6 are and 2 5 are. So now this is 6. So 3 2 are and 3 5 are. Or you can, if you don't know how to simplify this one, directly multiply this into this and then you are going to divide it by 12. So what will you get here? 25 by 2. So 25 by 2, when you divide this 25 by 2, you get 12.5. Percentage. So percentage of tin is 12.5. Now we have to find out, we have finished for the percentage of tin. We will see the for the percentage of copper. So percentage of copper means again the parts of copper divided by. This is the total parts into 100. So what is that? Parts of copper is given as 105. So 105 divided by total is, we have got here as 120 into your 100. So again this 0 and 0 gets cut. 2 6 are, 2 5 are. Then this will go with 3 2 are and this goes with 3 that is 35. 35 into 5 that will be 175 divided by 2. When you divide this 175 divided by 2 you get 87.5 percentage. So we got a percentage of copper. And now one thing you can do to recheck when you add this and this, that is going to be 100%. That means whatever you got is right. So here they said a candidate scored 25% marks in an examination and failed by 30 marks. When another candidate who scored 50% marks got 20 marks more than the minimum pass marks. So we have to find the minimum pass marks and the maximum marks. So now here, be careful with this one. Like we can write the maximum marks be X. So the minimum marks to pass is what? They said 25% marks and fail by 30 marks. So we can write here 25% of what? That is the maximum of X plus 30 we have to write because it's failing by 30. So now 25% means 25 by 100 because this is a percentage sign. Of means multiplication, this as it is, this both as it is. So we can simplify this 25 ones are 25 fours are. So that is going to be 1 by 4 means we can also write here 1 into x will be, that will be x by 4 plus 30. So now what did they say according to the question what we can write here. So this is. For 25%, you got x by 4 plus 30. Well, another candidate who scored 50 marks. 50 means you can write a 50 divided by percentage means you are going to divide it by 100. So this is going to be 1 by 2. So we can write here 1 by 2x. So this is the x by 4 plus 30 is equal to x by 2 because that is 50%. And then 
got 20 more than this one so this is going to be minus 20 so this is the equation what we have to remember so now this x will bring on this side so that is when this will be as it is this will be minus x by 2 this as it is plus 30 is going to be minus 30 so now when you take the lcm of this one is 4 so here will be x minus 2x by 4 is minus 20 minus 30 so it is always you have to add it but put the minus sign so now what will be here this will be 1 minus minus 2 means minus 1 by 4 so this is minus 50 so here minus x is going to be here if you multiply that is going to be minus 200 so x is going to be both the sides minus means it is going to be plus all you can do if you are confused you can put here divided by minus 1 that is going to be minus and minus becomes plus because minus divided by minus is plus so that will be 200 so we got 200 as x which is the maximum marks because we have considered x as the maximum marks so now minimum marks what is that that is x by 4 plus 30 so we are going to put in place of x we will put here 200 by 4 plus 30 so 4 ones are 4 50 is up so now this is going to be 50 plus 30 that is going to be 80 marks so now you got that is what they have asked find the minimum pass marks and the maximum marks so the maximum marks is 200 and the minimum is 80. so by this one we have completed today's work do like and subscribe to my channel so you get the notification of the other parts thank you